All right, what's up? You know, Coach here. I got my man Doug. Yep. Blackside Studios. All right. So I back to Moxie. Sick. I all right. It. So I'm I'm, I'm all in. You Thank know, you. Anything Japanese. Maybe That's the only money. reason we're talking. Yes. Give me money. Yeah, okay. right? Yes. I'm, I'm, you, I'm gonna give you probably a lot more money. But then I started going down the rabbit hole. I see Luna. Don't look back. Yes, sir. Um, we just played um, a demo of uh, Demon Ship. Awesome. It's kind of, you know, I know it's all in your warehouse. So I don't know. Let's. You guys are a small company. Yes, sir. What's what's the whole? You know, give me the give me the skinny on Blackside. So Blackside, I got involved in it. I was their first employee mm -hmm. long ago, millennia ago, right? Right. And they hired me on as a laser op. We were just making terrain. Uh, they started the company because they wanted to make terrain for the games that they played. And they're like, hey, this stuff's actually kind of cool. Let's try to sell it. Mm -hmm. um, and the game, the the company kind of naturally evolved into, you know, producing our own games right. and things like that. We got in contact with Matt, who wrote Don't Look Back and mm -hmm. Violent Dark. And that relationship kind of blossomed from there into producing Don't Look Back as our first game, mm -hmm. moving into all that other stuff. And I got to be there for a part of that. Okay. Late last year, uh, we were all sitting down in a meeting and Ben was like, hey, I want to write a game. I want to produce a game in six months, and I want to document it from the beginning till fulfillment. Right. And we're going to do the whole process. So we had the whiteboard full of all of these games that we want to do. Right. And after talking and kind of going back and all that stuff, Kometsu was like the closest to ready okay. to actually get out and start play testing and doing all that stuff. Yeah. So cool. it Excellent. just kind of like we just shotgunned it in there at the end of last year. Okay. So now you have. So Hamachi is going to come out when, or, or like like release? So we're planning on fulfilling in September. Okay. So the the intent is we will have the hardback books, we will have all of the stuff produced, and we will get that to everybody in September. Okay. And that's the digital stuff too? Yeah. The digital stuff should arrive as soon as we get it done. Okay. Excellent. Like we're not, the, the PDF we're hoping to have done once we get back, that's like our goal okay. from Adepticon is we're slamming out, finishing the layout of the rule book. Uh, and we should have that to people in, you know, 45 days or so nice. from right, now. I can't wait. That's the intent. All right. So now we were looking at Luna, Don't Look Back, yeah. all, all the games. What's what's the, the kind of driving force? Like what makes you get up and say, all right, we're going to do this? Your motivation. Dude, we, we just want to make games that we want to play. Okay. Right? Like it's not – nothing that we've done has been money grab. Okay. Nothing that we've done has been with the intent of – like, yeah, we're trying to make money, but we want that exchange of your money and our product to feel equal. Okay. And a lot of companies aren't that way right now, right, right. you know? And so when we get started on these projects and we have people coming to us, indie writers now coming to us and saying, hey, I have a game. I like y'all stuff. I like your company. I want you to publish this for us. Mm -hmm. You know, we can go into those things with that mindset. Okay. And that is like invigorating and exciting and getting to talk to you guys and getting to talk to customers that come up and say, yo, I love your game. It's so different. Right. I love Lunar. I love Don't Look Back. I love what y'all are doing with these tiny games, this stuff that's so flavorful, this stuff that's just different than anything I can find anywhere else. Mm -hmm. It's inspiring. Yeah. You know, as, as somebody who like my job is a production manager, I'm not, I am a game writer, but that's not what I'm getting paid to do. Right. right. I'm, running in a shop and we're making things but knowing that we're giving a product to people that they are that they feel happy on the other end of that transaction mm -hmm. is great man. like that's that's so inspiring to get to do that and it's, it, now is it better that you guys say you write a game but you come at it from all right we can produce miniatures and terrain for this game yeah, oh yeah is that like so you guys so if i write a game i just come to you and say I need minis, I need terrain, yeah. and I wrote the rules, I need a book. Yep. And then you, you, you guys do it. Yep. That's excellent. That's yep. excellent. Uh, Hametsu was done completely in-house. Mm -hmm. We outsourced basically nothing okay. for Hametsu. Right. I designed all of the MDF. Mm -hmm. I wrote the rules. Ben did the graphic design and art. Mm -hmm. Ben did the sculpting. Excellent. That's it. We had one sculptor that did one of our freebie sculpts, and... That's pretty much it. Like, we did all of it in-house. In and that's kind of been the intent with our backroom projects, okay. right, is 
if you as an indie writer have this idea for a game, mm -hmm. yeah, you can go to Kickstarter. Right. You can pay Kickstarter to do your stuff. You can pay a graphic designer to lay out your book. You can pay a sculptor to sculpt your minis. Or you can come to us and just say, hey, I've got this idea for a game. Right. What do you guys think? We may snatch it up. That's cool. You know? I like that. That's really cool. We, we want indie writers to have the chance to do that stuff, and we take care of the rest. Right. You can facilitate that. That's, exactly. So, yeah. so it's your guys' business plan or business model is different than, like, say, a big company. Where, for sure. Yeah. That's, sure. I like that. So you, If you want to get your rules published by somewhere like Osprey, you're going to have – a wider a wider audience right? right because everybody knows of osprey right but they're not going to give you minis they're not going to give you layout they're not going to give you graphic design they're not going to give you support mm -hmm. it's like here's your book right you know and then it's your job to push the book to move the book to do all yeah. of that stuff you know our writers we've got matt here we've got tori here mm -hmm. uh they they didn't have to do this mm -hmm. right they get to show up and demo their game mm -hmm. we packed the product we put it in the crates we made it we brought it here they get to show up and sell it. Right, but it's kind of like know? they come in here and that's their baby. They're yeah, gonna, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. So what's in the future for Black Soul? Man, we've got so many games planned. Okay. So many games. All right. Um, we were hoping to have some of them here for demos. Mm -hmm. uh, we weren't able to get it done. Okay. But hopefully this year we've got Breacher, which is Matt's new game. Okay. Uh, if DLB is the horror movie game, Breacher is the action movie game. Okay. Uh, we've got Rust 66, which is a post-apocalyptic, uh, V8 driven, hot rod, crazy, uh, Mad Max style wasteland vehicle game. Okay. Uh, 28 mil. We've got... 28 mil vehicle game. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 28 to 32. It'll probably be closer to 32 because that's what we sculpted, but mm. all of that. Yeah, there's there's a lot. We basically have until probably, I mean, into 2025. Okay. So just lined keep, up just for, keep stuff for games. Out. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. We really we really have kind of hit a stride with the community, and people seem to really like the direction that we're heading in and the way that we produce games. Okay. And we've had just in the past year, we've had a significant amount of writers reach out to us and say, "Hey, here's what I have. What do you think?" Right. And a lot of it's really good. Okay, good. So it fits in our, our wheelhouse. Hopefully later this year, maybe early next year, we're going to have our first competitive game, which is like a literally designed for tournament play. Okay. Uh, I like that. There's like a lot of new stuff coming. Corey's writing Mobile Arms, which is a magnetized mech game, okay. 32 mil. Uh, there's a ton of stuff. It's okay. just there's all kinds of things happening. Excellent. Well, we're looking forward to the future. Yeah. Hopefully we could be friends, family gamers, and black Excellent. Side. Looking I love forward it. to it, man. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit all that stuff.